Hello. How is everybody? Um, I thought today was Friday and it's Thursday. So um, I guess that's kind of a gift because I have your assignment stuff ready for next week. So I'm going to go ahead and make your video. Um, you're, you're there. You're like this close to the finish line, right? Like this close. So we have next week and then the last four days of school. And it is like celebration time. So if you were in like, you know, school here, well, and even the kids, we're not, I don't even think we're, I don't know if we're doing it this year or not. I think, you know, we usually have a big awards assembly and I don't think we're doing that this year. I think they're just giving the awards out like on their teams, but I wanted you to take a moment um, and reflect on yourself and um, what you've accomplished and uh, let's celebrate that. And we could have fun with it too. It could be fun. So, um, <clears throat> Jackie Davis. So you guys are going to be making a badge or badges for yourself. Um, so it's the Jackie Davis badge challenge. She's an illustrator and a comic writer based out of Rochester, New York. She occasionally teaches workshops. And um, she has sort of jumped on the 2020, 2021 bandwagon trend of making mundane badges or quarantine badges. So um, I'm going to share some of those with you. Like this one on this page, she created, it's almost like an award waved at a lumpy dog. It's like something to celebrate. So it could be like you could make badges for things that you're really seriously proud of. Or you can make badges for um, things that are funny. So I challenge you to make your own drawings, paintings of badges using what you have at hand. What is the thing you're most proud of accomplishing this school year? And what do you want to celebrate? So I'm just going to click over to this next slide. Um, wore the same flannel for a whole week. Got tucked in. That's really cute. Cried a bunch and then ate a snack. That's a good badge. I've probably done that more than once this school year. Listened to a song 32 times in a row. I'm pretty sure we've all done that one. Uh, picked a booger and didn't wipe it on the couch. That is one I would give my kid. I would give him that one every day. Uh, rescued a bug. That one's pretty cool. I didn't think about this, but I actually rescued a frog out of our pool the other day. And I felt pretty good about it. Uh, thought too hard about life. That's, that's one that... I think we all could get and um, found it on the street and it's a lamppost. So make your badge and it depends on how you want to do it. So on the assignment, I'm going to link a Google slide. You can do your badge digitally. Um, you can hand draw your badge. Or there's also an example of like the world's okayest cat owner. That person used um, like a drawing app. So if you have an iPad or something that you draw with that you want to create your badge on that, you can um, use that and send it. I have badges. I made my badges, and I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold them up. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them to the meet so you can see them. But like I made my badges for the school year. So I'm gonna share these with you, and we'll talk talk about them um, on the meets next week or this week. Uh, there's a couple extra pages at the end of the slideshow that are um, parts of Jackie's new book that she's put out. She makes these little cartoons. And then here is uh, her new comic book cover. Cool. And then this is a demo video of her live creating a cartoon. So if you're interested in watching that, you can do that. Um, I cannot wait to see what your badges are about. So I'm going to have this slideshow. I'll put this slideshow on there. I'm going to have your file, your Google slide to create your badge on. Um, I'm going to have the tell me something good form so you can let me know things that are going on at home and that you celebrate what your celebrations are for the week. And, uh, I, you know, I try to email everyone back from that just to let you know that I'm here and I'm listening. And then I will have your May drawing challenge posted. So if you were still drawing in your journals or in your sketchbooks, you can see what the prompt of the day is going to be. So. 
All right. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend. Um, it's graduation weekend. So if you have graduates in your family, congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating them. And I will see you on the meets next week. Bye.